Regarding the rollout of the vaccine from last week, I know when initially we started receiving uh, doses from Pfizer and Moderna, Dr. Henry expressed concern about the safety of those stocks. And with the rollout now moving to 172 communities, what efforts are going to be made to ensure that we don't have terrorist attacks or sabotage of, of that much needed vaccine? Yeah, you know, that's something. one of the things that we've been thinking about, and it is one of the things that we have been working closely with the NOC, the National um, Operations Centre, and uh, we do have uh, federal agencies that are involved in um, helping assess the risk as it goes. Um, we also have uh, procedures in place around how the, the vaccine is trans, uh, transported and safety measures, and as we've had more vaccine available, it's... Um, been easier and uh, more ability to, to be more open about where the, the clinics are. Uh, we do have security, of course, um, and we will continue to have that to make sure that people are comfortable and safe in those clinics. Um, so far, we have um, had really good response and we have not had any incidents um, that we're aware of. Um, but we have uh, been watching that very carefully. I know uh, there was a lot of online chatter, we understand, from uh, the security um, services uh, about disrupting um, the vaccine um, supply chain and uh, undermining confidence in the vaccine for various reasons. A lot of that came out of uh, issues in the United States and other places. So it, it seems to have settled which is a good thing. Um, obviously, right now, our biggest concern is, is access to, to vaccines so that we can get this program up and running.